Hi guys, so today we're gonna to look at property investing for beginners. So what's my advice for if you're just starting out, you're a beginner, you're not quite sure which direction to go in. First thing that I would recommend that you do is decide on your strategy, okay? So there are lots of different strategies but that depends on how much money you have available. If you have limited amount of funds, you could start by becoming a property sourcer. So you could find deals as if you were going to buy them. So the key here is to make sure that you would buy that deal yourself. It's gotta be a good deal, okay? So you're gonna want 20, 25, 30% off the value of that deal. So if it's good enough for you to buy at those discount levels, you can sell that on to somebody else that will buy that. Okay? And I know people on the internet say, oh, why would somebody want to sell a deal? Why would people become property sources? Well, for this exact reason, if you don't have much money, much funds available, this is a great option where you can become a sourcer and you can find deals and sell them on. You can sell them on for two, three, four, five, sometimes even 5,000 pounds, sometimes even higher. Just depends on how good the deal is. Typically, the more discount you found on a deal, the higher you can charge. You could do deal sourcing for the first three, four, five deals, and you could build up 15,000 pound quite easily from deal sourcing on a few deals. You can take properties on an option, okay? I'm not gonna go into each detail of what, you can Google how to do these, but I'm just gonna give you some options here. So you could buy property um, with an option agreement. You could um, source a property, take out an option on it, and then resell it to somebody else. Similar to deal sourcing, apart from you've secured the deal, you've taken an option on it, so you've got a property for 100,000 pound, you've secured an option on it for 70,000. You're then gonna sell that option agreement to somebody else who has the funds, they complete on it and give you a finder's fee. Or you have a property on an, an option, you've just got the property for 70,000, you sell it for 80 and make 10,000. So there's various ways how to structure the option agreement, okay? so. Deal sourcing, option agreement. You could do, I don't do this myself, but you could do a rent to rent. So you could buy, go and rent a property and then re-rent it. Now, why would you wanna do that? Okay, well you could rent a property for 500 pound a month and then rent each room out for a combined rent of a thousand pound a month. So you then get a monthly cash flow of 500 pound. I don't do that. It's not something I've ever done. Um, but that is certainly one way if you're starting out and you don't have much funds that you could do that. Those options that I've just given you are if you don't have much funds available. If you do have access to funds, then I would recommend you go and buy a house below value, add value to it and sell it for a higher rate. So let's just use some round figures. You buy a house for 100, it's worth 120, but you're gonna add 10,000 pounds worth of value in the middle, and now it's gonna be worth 140. So you bought it for 100, you spent 10 on it, that's 110, it's now worth 140, you've made a 30,000 pound profit. This is just simplistic terms, yeah? And I'm just using round figures just for illustration purposes. If you have funds for a deposit and for the refurbishment, my advice would be to buy a property add value to it and sell it for a profit. And imagine it like a conveyor belt in a factory. The house drops on the beginning of the conveyor belt. As it goes along, you're adding value and doing something to it. It drops off the end of the conveyor belt and you've just made 20, 30, 40,000 pound profit. You repeat that a few times, you've then got a nice pot of money that you can then do more advanced things with or do larger projects with. So my advice, if you're a beginner and you don't have much funds, then either do property sourcing, option agreements, or rent to rent. As I say, I don't do rent to rents myself, but that certainly is an option for you. If you've got some funds, then buy a property, refurb it, add value, and sell it and make lump sums of cash. So if you want to buy property to hold, that's fine, but just remember you won't have the lump sums of cash that you will have if you buy add value and sell it, or if you flip it is another word, or refurb it, whatever you wanna call it. So buy and holding, yes, that's great, but your money will be tied up 
even if you refinance it, you will still have to leave some money in the property. The numbers just wouldn't really work. Most of the times they don't work. Um, so just to recap, first of all, decide on your strategy. Do you want a capital appreciation strategy? Do you want a cash flow strategy where you get monthly income? Or do you want lump sums of money and income strategy? So de decide on your strategy, decide what money you've got, and then that will help you to determine what path you're gonna take. So I hope that's been useful guys. Any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next video.